Let's do a quick recap. My name is Garfield, and I am the Harbinger, a living being that acts as a magnet that attracts and summons dangerous entities, at least according to everyone else on the redacted SMP. But they're not wrong. I've seen it with my own eyes now. I attract danger anywhere I go. I endanger anyone I care about, and make those who are already wary of me resent me even more. I'm all alone on this server, and maybe that's for the better, because how can you trust anyone when you can't even trust yourself? Ever since getting back from being trapped on the nether roof, I've completely isolated myself from the rest of the server. I've been handling it well enough. I've spent the last few weeks isolated in my own home. I only venture into town in the middle of the night when no one else is around. I get tired and I get sick and then I lose the strength to leave. The only real outside contact I've had is with Daedra. Every once in a while, she brings me some snacks from her cafe. Daedra's done nothing but treat me with kindness since the very beginning. Hey. Hey. I just brought you the usual. Um, I hope you're doing okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. Uh, just remember, I'm here for you, Garth. Okay. Look, Daedra, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you don't need to keep doing all this. I think it'd be for the best if you stopped trying to check on me, but thanks anyway. Daedra sees me as a person, not a threat like the rest of the town. But I can't let myself get close to her. I can't let her get hurt. I can't let her- Garfield? 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 It's me. Open the door. Daytra? Garfield? It's me. I'm here for you, but... Okay. Garfield? Come back here. Come back here. There you are. You can't escape me, Garfield. I may have no face, but... I can see you. <gasps> Deidre? Daedra? Is that really you? I have a face. Yes. Now come on! It's already gone. For now. 
It'll be back for us soon. We gotta go. How did you even find me? I went back to your house, because I wasn't planning on just giving up on you like that. Then I noticed your door was open, and I followed from there. Then when I got down here, I heard you and rushed over. It's another dead end. We can't just keep running. We need to kill that thing. How, though? You saw it grow back that arm. Yeah. I... I don't know. <sighs> Wait. What if we crush it? What do you mean? L look at the ceiling. If we could lure it under here somehow and drop the gravel onto it, we could crush it. Then it wouldn't have anything to regrow. I... Okay, that could work. It's getting close. Okay, here. I'm gonna go try to lure it in. You stay here. When I give you a signal, break that torch and collapse the tunnel. I'll be right back. Stop running from yourself. Come back here. Now. Nature and I left the featureless entity buried in the mine shaft and returned back to the surface. You know, you don't have to push me away, Garg. I know it's probably hard for you to trust people right now, but I wish you would at least try and trust me. Even if you shut me out, I'm still gonna come back. I care about you. I know. Look, I'm sorry for pushing you away. You showed me that I can actually trust someone, that I don't have to be alone. Hey, um, there's gonna be a big meeting at the town hall in a few days. It's just about the ARG, but you should come. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll be there. While I'm still not quite sure of myself and my place in this world, I've realized that closing myself off from everyone is no way to live. Maybe I'm allowed to care about others. Maybe I can be like everyone else in this town. Maybe being the Harbinger doesn't have to define me. And maybe I could trust myself. Thank you for gathering here today. As most of you know, my name is Poverty, and I am a 